Hey, this is Eric with CartoonLearning.com and AnimationTrainer.com. One of my Animation Trainer subscribers had a problem with a character where the character was getting warped. So this is the character he sent me and asked me to take a look at and uh, was hoping I could use it for training purposes for everyone else. This is one of the most common problems. If you don't set up your bone structure right and your layers right, then you end up with a character that gets warped. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this and then just fix it real quick. Um, all right, so here's one of the problems. Obviously, this is not going to work. Um, let's see what's going on here. All right, notice how the layer disappears as it overlaps. That's because this whole orange piece is one object, and what we actually need to do is split it up into three objects. We're going to have the midsection right here, and then we'll have an object for this arm, and an object for this arm. All right, let's take a look real quick and see what other problems we have. Um, all right, this will adjust. We don't want this to be the main bone because we want him to be able to move his legs independent from his upper body. And with this being the main bone, uh, he'll always move that way. Um, all right, that's an issue, but that will be corrected when we correct the bone structure. Um, all right, we'll probably end up changing the ankle to a separate piece that runs down behind the foot and stays with this bone, but this might actually work. I'm not sure. We'll find out. And the head is fine, except that uh, we're going to change the binding on all of this. The, way, the reason that this gets warped when I move, say, a leg is because the bone strength is on right now. And when the bone strength is on, uh, this bone will affect everything even up here. It's, it's basically going to affect everything that's not bound to a bone with the bind layer to bone tool right here. So let's say we turned up. Uh, let's say we changed the bone strength here and we turn this one up. You can see how it distorts the rest of the picture. It's actually kind of sucking everything else into it. Then if we were to move it, it's really going to be messed up. So I'm going to control Z, uh, control Z, get it back to where it was. And uh, what we're going to do, the first step is turning down all of the bone strength on every single bone. Don't leave any of it on because we don't want one bone to affect anything else. And really, there's no reason to have the bone strength on unless we're going to import a JPEG and then try to manipulate it. So, all right. OK, first things first. Let's find the body layer. And then we'll come over here to the Add Points tool. And I'm just going to add a point between here and here. And then spacebar to make sure that it's attached. Add one here, spacebar to attach it. And now we need to create an object. So get the Create Object tool, click and drag and select these points, and then hit spacebar. Boom. Oops, you know what? I have to make sure I have the right color. So. Um, let's check and see if he has a style. No styles. Okay. Um, I will select that. All right, got the right color. Uh, create object tool and spacebar. Boom, I have an object. And now you'll see we just added a line, so we'll just hide the edge of this line. And we're going to do the same thing to the other arm. Oops, what am I doing? Sorry about this. This video is kind of on the fly today. So, um, boom, boom, create object, hide edge. All right, now we want to bind actually just these two endpoints to this bone and these two points to this bone. So what we're going to do, grab the bind points to bone. Oops, sorry. Select bone. Select this bone, bind points to bone, 
selected those two, and then hit spacebar to actually bind them. If you forget to hit spacebar, it's not going to bind them. If you hit it more than once, your timeline is going to start playing, and you're going to have major problems, so make sure you don't hit it more than once. Um, all right, so select this bone, bind points, and I hope you're not getting sick from watching this video right now, and spacebar. All right, now let's try it out. All right, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Um, we'll just, I'll save the file here just to back it up. All right, let's check out the hands. I just want to see. Uh, they're probably done right, but the way they twist right now is not going to work. So grab our bone layer, uh, translate, and we'll move this down to right about where the base of the wrist is. And then same with this one. Let's just extend it out. Now let's try it. That's more natural. All right. And I'm assuming these layers are bound to the bone. But if they weren't, what we could do is select. Uh, where are. Oh, yeah. There you are. Left. All right. What we could do is select the actual layer and then bind to bone and then click the bone but it looks like that's done already for us. So that's good. Just to double check, boom, all right. And what's next to the body? All right, we'll go back to the body and finish that. Sorry, I'm jumping around. Um, all right, now we need to select bone, bind points to bone, and we're gonna, now if you hold your control, this is an easy way to do it. I was just gonna select all the points we need, but hold control and click you can actually circle around them and it's the same thing when you select points so now we have all of them selected right and now we hit spacebar and we've just bound them to that bone so we should be able to all right now we're getting somewhere oh you can't see it it's off screen let me change my camera and show you one thing real quick all right when I moved this bone you can see how the feet and well, let's see the eyes stay still the feet move because well, I'm not sure probably because they're bound to those yeah they're bound to these bones right here all right the first thing we're gonna fix is those pupils that weren't moving with the rest of the scene uh, all right so it's I I left are the two different layers so click each of these layers and then bind the points to the bone and we're going to attach them to this bone because every time this bone moves obviously you want the eyeballs to go with it so uh, that one that one bound to bone and you know it's bound to a bone when the bone highlights red and uh, you know the bone is a child of its parent bone if it's red and then the parent shows up as blue so uh, hair is bound to bone that's already that's done head bound to bone okay that's good so now our head should move fine um, and let's work on the legs no actually the first thing we need to do is select this and we're going to add a pelvic bone just as our main control bone so we'll click the add bone tool and then add one down here going in the other direction and the reason it's going in the other direction is we want the legs to be able to sweep uh, this way in this kind of an arc and then we want the top to be able to swing this way so I don't know if that'll make sense to you but you'll see when it's done all right so we did that but they're going to be out of order so now let's select this bone and we have to reparent it you can see if you click the reparent tool uh, the parent of this thigh bone is this body bone here. And we want to change that to this one. All right, now let's select the bone that we want to reparent. This one. Reparent. And then select the bone we want it parented to. Now we select this one. And we don't want it to be the main bone. So we will reparent it to this one. If it lets me, and sometimes this is a big problem. Uh, it might not do it and this is the reason why it's really important to do it right the first time so 
So now we may actually have to get rid of all of our bones and start over. So uh, that's a pain, but we'll see. Actually, you know what? There's another way to do this. We'll delete it and we will select this one. Add a bone. Select this one. Reparent it to this one. Select this one. Reparent it to this one. Select the head. Reparent it to this one. That wasn't too bad. Now we just need to go back to our body layer and redo what we did. So we select this bone, bind points. Remember control, circle around these points. Hit spacebar. Now they're bound. Now let's test it out. Oops. Ah, one more problem now. Bone strength. Turn that down. Turn this one all the way down. All right, that's moving right. And you can notice the feet and the eyeballs are not moving now. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. All right. Now this is where we change things. 